Not even death can save you from me. My mic was on. That might be nice. Yeah. Just my mic here. I apologize. Ah! <laughs> Today's been just been one of those goddamn days. I swear, it's just like anything and everything could be annoying or go wrong. Oh god, I swear. So basically today we're going to be fighting Diallo. Well, this is technically pre-recorded on St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I don't celebrate it, so yeah. Um, yep, this is the this is the match where it's going to be a, a do or die match. Either we're going in and defeating Diablo, or uh, we're going to be restarting a hardcore mode. Uh, so some things I looked up. Uh, some of the levels of the bosses. So in Dario's level twelve. Duriel's level 22. I looked at Mephisto. He's level 26. So I was two levels higher than I was fighting Mephisto. Then I thought Diablo would be somewhere within the 30s range. Would make kind of sense. No. <laughs> Diablo's level 40. Which was a shock to me. This dude's got 12 levels on me. And not only that. Bale is level 60. In normal difficulty, that is a level that you should be entering close to hell difficulty. And he's level 60 in normal difficulty. I found that out when I was looking up their levels. And uh, <laughs> between Mephisto, Diablo, and Bale, they all have high poison resistance. Their the rest of the resistances of fire, lightning, and cold are all like 33. And then their poison resistance is 50. So it's like, what an everlasting joy. <laughs> Everlasting joy. Ugh. God, I can't even speak properly. So, let's do this. This is gonna be today's video. So, uh, if it comes down to it, I might break it into parts so you might see it faded. Oh, I'm used to playing Diablo 3 here, so I'm just like having to switch my keys. Um, like I had to do with the Necromancer, you know, if Diablo's taking too long to kill. You know, I'll pause the videos and they'll just slowly fade in until eventually Diablo is dead. So I don't have to continuously struggle and try to run back, run back, run back, trying to hit Diablo and just, you know, so on and so forth. So, just letting you guys know. But, it's Diablo. We got our mercenary. I was hoping to get him a better weapon by now. Didn't happen because none of the turds have a three socket goddamn pole arm. Hopefully, we managed to score one. In Chaos Sanctuary. Let's hope. But we're also back in those full rejuvenation potions. So, uh, we should be good there if Diablo tries to use his Inferno crap on me. And we have our, uh, Cyclone Armor, which should absorb at least some portion of that damage. You know, because his Inferno is fire, lightning, and physical, which a lot of people don't know. You know, it's off of Diablo's little cold fist he has, which is physical and cold. He's got his little fireball, or his little firewall thing going on there, so pure fire. And uh, if you're not careful enough, too, what a lot of uh, new people happen to make the snake up is putting a portal too close to Diablo. He will bone cage you, and he will trap you, and if he is within the range of Bella to do that, he will hit you with Inferno and kill you. So be wary of that. If you are just coming into Chaos Sanctuary, and you're ready to fight Diablo, and you think you're gonna put a portal too close so you, you know, in case if you accidentally die, you can run back. No, that's not gonna happen. He will bone trap that thing, and then he will trap you in it and hit you over the front of him. I know, because it's happened to me before. When I first started like, playing Diablo and stuff like that. But then again, that was back in like pre patch Diablo, where Iron Maiden was a thing. And if you don't know what Iron Man is in Diablo 2, basically these Doom uh, Blue Union Knights will throw on Iron Maiden, and any damage you do is double back to you. And I'm pretty sure I explained that in other videos, my other two Diablo videos. Uh, if you're hitting enemies for, uh, I don't know, hitting enemies for 200 damage, they throw on Iron Maiden, they're going to hit you back with 400 damage, but against you. So be wary of that. But thankfully that no longer exists. The only time you'll ever see Iron Maiden is on Necromancer spells now. Because 
people who were complaining to Ooh, you might be pretty hard there, buddy. What the hell? Oh, yeah, Amplify. Goddamn crap, no idea. Amplify doubles your damage to anything of physical and magic. Uh, where's that? Physical, magic, and elemental, so be wary of that. Uh, that's the new killer since Iron Maiden was taken out. But so many people were complaining to the Blizzard about playing Barbarians, going in with a whirlwind Barbarian, you know, or any physical characters are like the Javzon or the Paladin or the, you know, shape shifting Druid and then just instantly getting whacked by Iron Maiden, you know, so. Little fun fact right there. Merc, I want to get in here and help me out, everybody. I don't know what else to do. You are a part of the scene, champ. Yeah, he's staying there steadily strong. Look at that. Actually, double arcs. Come on, you know you want to drop me a three soccer polar. At this point, it wouldn't really matter because I don't have the runes for it. But, uh, hey, you never know. Runes dropping Chaos Sanctuary. I think the best rune drop I ever had in Chaos Sanctuary on Hell difficulty was a Vex rune. You know, I know people can get Jaws, you can get Burrs. The only rune you cannot get in any level of Diablo 2 besides Act 5, and I think it's anywhere in Act 5, is the Zod rune, which makes your weapons indestructible. That's the only rune you cannot get in the other acts, which I've never seen the Zod rune drop. I've heard rumors, people speculating they've gotten Zod rune. What the hell is my mercenary? Hello, sir? This is not a McDonald's line. I'm not gonna have you stand there and wait in line over here. Um, but never actually seen the actual rune drop myself. So. Kind of like the myth and legend of rune drops. I have gotten facets dropped, and uh, that was a poison facet that I got. And poison facets are basically unique jewels that drop. They have like uh, increased fire, increased lightning, increased cold, increased poison. Uh, you know, you I think you maybe like a certain absorbation of of that too. You like absorb a certain amount of elemental damage. You know, you get the increase of that elemental damage. Uh, it's like minus to enemies' resistance to that. So it's really good, especially if you're playing a lightning sorceress that has griffins, which is a unique um, T no uh, diadem, and basically gives you increased lightning damage. I think minus lightning resistance to enemies too. But it's what makes sorceresses do like 30,000 plus lightning damage. <clears throat> but um, you slap a vast in there and you've got like something that's just gonna wreak havoc on uh, JSP, which is trading in Diablo 2 items. Like that. I don't know if JSP is still on Diablo 3 or not. Never used it myself, but it's definitely here. Because at that time, ladder resets in like six months. So why the hell would I want to waste a real, real, real time cash on something like that? It just it didn't make any damn sense to me. Unless you're playing like a Magic Winner, Sorceress, Hammerton. You know, you're actually playing to actually use it like eBay to make real life money on that stuff. Then more power to you. <laughs> Doing pretty decent for now. I hear that mic's trying to... It's starting to buzz up on me. I hope it doesn't pick up too much. Uh, no, did I say that's going to be No, it's going to happen. Have that one moment where I like being true in my world form, that damn thing wears off, and it's just like, boom, he hits me with an inferno, and I'm going to be pissed. Mm, so decent. Venom Lords is the one that's the. Uh, Venom Lord boss is one of the most problem with, and it's the most difficult one in the Chaos Sanctuary from anyone's ever spoken about this place. Stormcasters are basically glass cannons. Lord uh, Dias, or whatever you pronounce his damn name over here. Kind of a glass cannon, but because he has fanaticism, it's his Doom Knights you want to really watch out for. And a little turd likes to put on Decafy. No. I do expect Diablo to hit me with an Inferno. And the reason I say that is because 
same re same reason with Bale. You know, he will he'll try to go for the most powerful of moves. So Bale, in his case, he'll basically go for his clones when he's outnumbered. Diablo will do the same thing, but when he's outnumbered, he'll use his Inferno. That's the reason why you play a Summon Necromancer. <laughs> Once you summon, you're going to get wiped out when he instantly hits you with that Inferno. He's not going after you, he's going after your summons to reduce the number, then he'll work on you. Alright, looks like we got the easy way, thankfully. Hopefully that's a good sign. This is the best way you can get. Make sure this is all cleared out over here. Do not need more extra to do this. I'm gonna let my mercenary handle this part. I'll go in there as best as I can. Just in case, because we like to spam the little inferno crap. Try to get a rabies in there, help my mercenary out. And then um, let that kick in bits, and then just slowly start picking them off. Just run away. Just poke and run, just poke and run. This is it, folks. This is it. Diablo has always been a pain in the ass, and he's always been the showstopper for anyone who's ever played. Even professionals, you know, have have a difficult time. They will even say they have somewhat of a difficult time playing Diablo. You know, you know, some of those people are like, "Oh, I've never suffered against Diablo." No, no, no. no you're full of crap. Because everyone has them one time. You, know, you can be as prepared as you want, but unless you know for a fact you have the ultimate gear to take on Diablo even on normal difficulty you know he'll put a whopping on you so what? Uh, we have uh, oh, crap kind of messed up there I should have got my goddamn full regimes already set Reed dreams are fine but they're not going to save me if he hits me for a second in front of him so I am not taking that chance with him stacked up as best possible. I do expect my mercenary to die, but <laughs> I've got more than enough money to break his ass back, so I'm not really worried about it. Alright. Make sure our portal's far enough away. Alright, let's do this. I sp uh, whoop. Almost forgot about the Whoa, 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 Mark, Mark, what the hell are you doing? That's the problem after the Act 2 mercenary. He wanders off. Do not wander off, you little turd. That's how you end up getting people killed. Uh, I expect him to hit me at the end of Inferno. Oh no, he went for Firewall. Uh, hey, he went for that damn Firewall and, um... Uh, where's my mercenary? Hello? Merc? Hello? Merc? Be nice for you to get your ass in here and help me out. Okay, as long as he doesn't hit me with that damn Inferno crap, we're fine. Hey, if you want to be in a pissing contest here, Diablo, who can freeze who? I got full reduce. I ain't worried. Woo! Alright, I knew that was going to happen. That's why you always pack full reduce. Let that poison kick in for a bit. Kind of annoyed, my mercenary just said, Hey, I'm gonna let you hang back here and I'm gonna let you handle him. It's like, no, 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 no. You can get your ass out there and you can help me out. Merc. And if you have to take the time to make rejuvenation potions, I know it's a rifle pain in the ass. Do it! You know, because if it saves you time, you know, it may take a little longer to kill Diablo and you're know, like, Oh, I don't want to wait till the. Uh, what? Sir? 
Why the hell did his sneaky little ass come all the way down there? That's a problem. I'll run my ass to the river of flame. I don't care. Diablo should not be coming. No, no, no. Diablo, you can screw the hell off of that crap. He has never gone down there. Screw you. My vine seems to be the only one that hasn't gotten fucking... Eh, bah, does drop that bomb there. Uh... But yeah, I know some people want to just rush in there and you try to kick Diablo's ass. And trust me, you want to take your time with Diablo. You know. Mm. Alright, where the hell is he at? I don't know why the hell he came all the way down here. No, 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 no. Lizard boy, come on. You're not playing that little game where you hide in the bottom of the corner. You know, try not to get ganged up. Where the hell is he at? Diablo, what the hell are you doing? Uh, I really won't have that damn the recording to get this crap. Come on! You can strike your stuff up here in more of an open environment. It keeps killing me down, it looks good. Thank you. seen that one coming. Hey, that's okay. I don't care. I will spend five minutes just spamming my mercenary on his ass. I do not care. Should pack some more. Just the, for the hell of it, we're gonna pack some new potions. You want to go ahead and skip most of this video until I kill Diablo or he kills me? I don't blame you. Go ahead. Because most people are like, oh, this is really boring watching him go back and forth. That's the video, folks. <laughs> you want a speedrunner guide? You know, I say go watch, you know, Mr. Lama or The Brunts Game. You know, you want more of a documentary, how to keep your ass alive? Uh -oh. uh -oh. Playthrough. That ain't happening, lizard boy. You're almost dead, too. I don't want to jinx myself now. But we're doing pretty good. He keeps instantly killing my goddamn oak stage, so that's the problem I have. Great. But that uh, cyclone armor helps out a lot, though. It absorbs some of that damage he does, so. Where the hell did he go? You're going for the firestorm there. <laughs> that rabies is kicking in too with that with that open wounds. Bye Diablo! <laughs> See ya! And not only that, my boy got shattered. You don't get the animation of death itself because I'm just too good. Flexing. <laughs> uh, I dropped a pike. That's not too bad. I still debate if I want to use this. 9.30? Eh, it's not going to hit much. Barb clump. So Diablo is dead. He had 12 levels on my ass, too. Which is still, frankly, hilarious. He's level 40, though. You know, that's like the level that you start going into nightmare mode, between 40 and 45. Uh, Health Forge, I ain't gonna bother doing that crap. Health Forge and Neolith Attack, I just never bother doing because I just went a complete waste of time. Uh, once again, that open wounds. See, I could give him, like, really good weapons like these, but it's just like, it doesn't carry that open wounds. Ooh, a lot of these. Ooh, you sent me. Uh, what the hell is this? Forty-three, seventy-four. That's not, still not bad. 
31, 129, 80, eh. It's like still slightly better. Which one that one is? 179. Eh. Eh. I'd rather, rather get them get a pole arm and crap like that. Might have better luck in Act 5. But, uh, yeah, that's Diablo. Basically beat him with a rabies droid. One of the one builds that almost never get used, so... And I'm only rocking a level 4 rabies, so, uh... Would have been 5, but I'd like to put that one point in there, so... 138 to 200 damage, so... But, like I said, stick with the open wounds. Trust me, it will save you. You know. And, um... Sell this crap, and then we'll, uh, end the video there. We'll do a quick, a quick uh, store check to see if he's got anything like that. Alright, I apologize if you get the buzzing sound of my mic, but music should come around along with my conference. Can I help you? Yes, you can, sir, by giving you a better weapon. Bunch of crap, bunch of crap. You, sir, have a bunch of crap. I mean, Halberd's another good one, too. I personally still prefer pole axes. Just because they hit slightly harder. Yeah, you don't got nothing. All right, guys. We're going to end the video there. I apologize for actually blowing your eardrums about that. <laughs> and, um, yeah, you guys will see this video tomorrow. So, be staying safe, healthy, and sanitized. And I'll see you guys around.